do you want to speak to Daryl about the shooting? We don't talk about that. It's a bit taboo. I know. Let's go see the inspector. So they went to this man, Dave Stevenson. Big bear of a man. When I first saw him and locked eyes, I thought, I've had some intensive treatment before. What am I in for of this, with this gorilla of a boss? Turns out, finest interpersonal skills anyone I've ever met. And he said, well, why don't we empower Daryl? Ask him. And that's what happened. They asked. I said yes. In 2006, 10 years ago, I spoke on the shooting for the first time. I played the uh, audio. I drew a diagram on the board to explain what happened. I left the recruits with four lessons. But it was what happened before I spoke that was critical. Dave Stevens had come over to me and said, Hey, Granny, I hear you speaking to the recruits. Mate, do you think I could come along and watch? I think it might help me be a better boss for you. So I said yes. He was there and it was just him and I who walked back after the uh, presentation together and he said, I, I watched you when the audio was playing. Do you mind if I ask what was going through your mind? So I told him a little bit. And then he asked me how I was going and I said to him, Dave, my life is work, study and community. There's really not much that. So with, with just a little bit of uh, questioning, pain, a little bit of attention, he was able to bring down that wall slightly and have a peek inside my will and just see what was going on, just a little bit. Dave was an expert at understanding, connecting and building bridges with people. 